So this week I decided I was going to try to paint some pumpkins and I've seen some really pretty ones with different floral stencils. So that's what I did. I took some uh, folk art white chalk paint, grabbed some stencils that I just had on hand, trying to find some different leaf patterns and some floral patterns and just decided to wing it and, and see what worked. So you can clean your pumpkins, wipe them down, dry them down real well. Um, I, I did have some flaws on these pumpkins, but figured, you know, the part that uh, is flawed, I would keep towards the back. So I started out with this piece of stencil that had all this floral pattern. Now I will say that the smaller the stencil is, size-wise, like area-wise, the more luck you're gonna have because you have to form it around the size of the pumpkin. So if it's a large pumpkin and it's a little bit larger of a stencil, it will be a little bit easier to maneuver than a small pumpkin with a large stencil. So as you can see, I'm trying to form this around the shape of the pumpkin and hold it at the same time and dab it with my sponge dauber. Now, I didn't worry too much about it being perfect because I know these are just temporary. They're not going to be out there forever. Nobody's really going to be looking at how perfect they are. And I can put the flawed part towards the back, like I said. Um, so, and then in a little bit, I'll take a wipe and I'll wipe up any extra paint that gets on the pumpkin. It comes right off. So it's, I just used chalk paint and acrylic paint. I didn't use anything special, but you could use paint markers. You could try to fill in the stencil with the paint markers. Um, you could try to use a paintbrush. It's probably going to bleed a little bit more with these plastic reusable stencils. So I just dabbed thin coats on and moved the stencil around to different spots as I, did, as I went. Now, the one thing I do want to say, I didn't try using any paint markers, but I do know that this, the pumpkin surface, being that it has that um, almost shiny, in a way, surface, the paint marker may not work very well. Like I said, I did not try it. Um, I think you're going to have more luck by dabbing it on or, or dabbing even with a brush than a paint marker, but you could certainly try it. Uh, if you have any on hand before you, you know, do the entire thing. So once I had the, a good bit of the floral pattern on, I took another one of those stencils that had more of the leafy, stemmy kind of pieces on it, and I tried to throw that in between, um, kind of extending out from the flowers, just wherever I felt like it. And here you see me taking um, a baby wipe and just sort of gently wiping away any of the excess paint that I didn't want in certain spots. And then I just kept going until I was happy with the amount of flowers and little stems that I had, and that was it. So you'll see me finish up this pumpkin, and then I will move on to the next one that I decided to paint white for the base. So this one has a little bit taller, narrower of a shape. And again, it has some flaws. It's got, you know, a real bumpy section that I thought, you know, I'll just put that towards the back um, of wherever I'm gonna display it. Um, I decided to paint this one with that white folk art chalk paint as well. And eventually I will do the stem in a gold. It took several coats 
um, with some dry, dry time in between. You could get the hair dryer out and dry the coats so that it goes a little bit faster, but it did take several coats. Once it kind of soaks in, it took another coat and then it would soak in. And then I just went until I was happy with the coverage. And then after I did the entire base in the white, here I am painting the top in a gold metallic. And then I took these mesh sticky back stencils that you can see they were a Waverly pattern. I think I got them at Michael's. I've had them in the drawer for a while. Um, I cut them apart into these smaller sections and that does really help the smaller sections, like these bigger leaves are even a little bit big, but you have to still form it around because they're not meant for a curved surface. So I just did the best I could. Because they were a mesh kind of design, I really had to try to push with the brush, push the paint in through that mesh so that it went through. In fact, on this first one, you'll see me lift it up and see that I didn't really get great coverage here in a second. So I laid it back down over top just to, to add a little bit more paint to make sure that it completely looked like the full leaf outline. And then after that, I just placed them wherever I wanted without being super close together and did the same thing. But these have just, a, just enough of a stick that it kind of helps it to, to stay there um, so you don't have to hold it quite so much. Um, I still held it so that it didn't move while I was painting, but you're not having to hold it quite as much as the regular plastic stencils. These are much thinner too. So it just all depends on what kind of stencil you have or what you decide to look for. Here in a second, you're going to see me lift it up and notice that I didn't quite have all of the coverage that I wanted. And then I'll lay it back down and paint more over it. And I tried to lay each leaf all in all different directions with the stem kind of up, the stem down, and then turning them in all angles as I went. And then next up, I decided because it is October and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I decided to go for a hot pink pumpkin and I painted the stem white, that same Waverly white, and then grabbed the same stencils that I had used on the orange pumpkin and just used the floral part, just the flower, and tried to just do that part and scatter them all over the pumpkin. Same process, but again, I had painted the base pink first it took several coats again you could take a hair dryer to try to dry it quicker so that it goes a little bit faster but overall the process was still the same now <clears throat> i did notice um, when i peeled the stick the stencil off of the previous pumpkin and occasionally when i would you know just accidentally bump different areas of the pumpkin it does tend to want to take the base coat off pretty easily because like i said that's a shiny surface um, I'm not sure if priming it first would help. You're, you're not really able to sand before you prime because it is a pumpkin. So 
really these are just you know temporary um, options for you to put out just for something fun to do with the pumpkins and I, I wasn't too concerned about all of that. And there they all are my hot pink one and the orange and the gold and white. I hope that this video inspired you to paint some pumpkins. Please, as always, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button on this video and go follow us, My Home Matters, on social media, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.